guys, it's Shauna with Just Try To Be Nice, and I am coming at you today with a life hack video on what to do with your drinks. Now, I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I just pulled every one of these, except for this one. This one I did not pull off of my nightstand. That was on my dresser, which is across from my nightstand. But every single one of these waters and this soda was on my nightstand. And now it's not from last night because, I mean, if you have that many waters on your bed every night, you want to go to the doctor and get checked for diabetes. Um, this is over the course of the weekend because I kind of let things go from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And this was a long weekend. So here's, you know, Friday... Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So, I mean, it makes sense. But I wanted to do this really quick life hack video because this is something that I've always done ever since I was a child. And I've noticed no one else really does it. It's kind of like a weird thing that I've done. Now, when I was a kid, I was never allowed to have soda, ever, because I was already pretty hyperactive and difficult to manage and soda just seemed to make that worse. So all I ever drank when I was a kid was water and just plain old water or milk and we only ever had milk for like the first week of the month so the last three to four weeks of the month I was drinking water. So I can drink water but I cannot drink plain water. It uh, The taste of it makes me gag. So I can only, and I need to drink water because if you're losing, if you're trying to lose weight, the only way that you can really lose weight is if you have water in your body because two fat cells the only way the two fat cells can burn is if there's a hydrogen molecule in there to do it. And the only way that you can get hydrogen into your body without like exploding is to drink water, H2O. So if you want to lose weight, you got to drink water. I mean, you just have to. It's scientifically proven. But I cannot stand the taste of regular water. So I drink um, this Propel Zero water. I recommend it. It's really, really good. I drink it all the time. I don't really care for the kiwi strawberry flavor. But uh, other than that, I love there's a peach flavor. The mandarin orange is my favorite. Here's what's funny, though. You can get the big palette that has grape and lime and berry at Costco, I mean, at a BJ's for like $12. So you can get like, I don't know, 6 and 6, 12, 24, 36. You get 36 for $12, which is a really good price because normally it's $2.99 for a six-pack. But you can only get the peach and the mandarin orange at Harris Teeter. You can't find it at Walmart, Bilo, Food Lion, Eckerd, Revco, nowhere else. Only Harris Teeter. I've asked them about it. Like, why do you have the racket on the orange and peach flavored Propel? And they're like, we don't know. It's just what the truck people bring. So this is what I drink. And I normally, most people would probably just come to their nightstand and see this and say, oh, well, I didn't drink that. And that's, you know, blah, 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 and pour it down the sink. But me, crazy person that I am, every time I do that, I picture small, starving children in Africa that are like laying in the desert, dying because they don't have any water, and I'm just pouring it down the drain, wasting it. So I know that's a little neurotic, but that is honestly what I think. So I cannot, <laughs> I cannot bring myself to pour this water just, just to pour it down the drain. I just can't. I can't and I won't, and that's not going to change about me. I've always been this way. So what I do is, I'll take this one, and I'll take this one, and I'm the only one in the house that really drinks the Propel, so it, this doesn't matter. So I'll take them, and what I'll do is I'll marry them, and anyone who's ever worked in a restaurant knows that this is called marrying, and usually at the end of your shift you have to marry your ketchups and your mustards and everything. So there you go, that's as full as it can get too. So then I'll put the lid on this. Well, one of the things that I like to do is I like to take this part off, but sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's really hard, but if it's easy, I'll just pull this little piece right off, right off. So then I'll know that this is one of the ones that I've refilled. But if it's hard, I'll just leave it on there and I just kind of know because there's a space between these two that this is one of the ones that I emptied from one and married into another and I'll drink this one first before I drink the other ones. Let me see if I can find that unopened one. Didn't I have one that was unopened? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See how this one's unopened? And how that seal isn't broken, it's like completely together. See the difference in the two? So I'll go in the fridge and I'll know this is one that I married, so I'll drink this one first. And then, so I've married that, and you saw I filled it all the way to the top, and I've got the lid on. There's still the little space between them. I'll put this right back into my fridge, and this little tiny bit I will pour out. And I will feel guilty. I will feel a twinge of guilt for pouring this out. 
but I won't feel nearly as much guilt as I do for pouring out like two thirds or a half a full bottle. So that is something that I've always done with my drinks and um, you know, I, I don't know why, I don't know where it started, I don't know how I started doing it, I just always have done it and oh, I'm doing this over the sink by the way just because sometimes you do spill a little bit and this one, do you see how much is left in there? I can either pour that tiny little bit out and like I said, see there's a little space there so you'll know when you put this one back in your fridge you'll know, you'll say okay, well I married that one so I need to go ahead and um, drink that one first. So, so there you go. There's that. And now let me get rid of my bottle, my empty bottles here. Put these off to the side. And now my two that I married are ready to go right back in the fridge, just like they were brand new and you'd never even drunk them. And now there's one more thing that I like to do with soda because I don't drink soda a lot, but when I do drink soda, I have a really hard time with it because it gets um, warm and uncarbonated at the bottom and there's like that part that you don't want to drink. So here's an example. I can't show you how much is in there because of course, you know, you can't, you know, x-ray vision, how you're supposed to see and I can hear, but you can't see. But you can tell there's only about maybe this much down in the bottom of this can. And when it gets down to that part, especially in the summertime, your can is hot and it's not fizzy anymore and it's a little backwashy so you don't really want to drink it. So what do you do? Well you get yourself your next Coke. You get your next Coke. I'm not going to drink this because it's way early in the morning and it will make me crazy sick if I do but just imagine for purposes of the video you pop it open you drink a sip or two and then you're left with maybe this much space at the top. So what do you do? You marry them. You take the soda from the last can that you don't want to waste, because I, again, don't like wasting ever under any circumstances. So you take what's left of this soda, even though it tastes nasty and it's uncarbonated and it's warm, you put it in with this soda and it gets mixed in there and you, it gets cold again, it gets carbonated again, and you don't have to waste your soda. Because I do honestly really like feel super guilty every time I waste food or liquid, so I try very hard not to. So there is a life hack on how to save money, save water, and save the environment. There you go, trifecta. All right guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye.